when God blessed us with Seth, I was devastated to find out that he has spina bifida, a condition that may not allow him to walk, urinate, or poop properly on his own. His hip bone is not in the right position and he has mild hydrocephalus, all caused by an opening in his spine while he was still in the womb. Most diagnoses we got every checkup were heartbreaking to hear, but every ultrasound, Seth would move in me as if letting us know how excited he is to live. I remember how I cried like I have never been to the Lord when I found out. It was like someone died. My dreams for him and me are the ones that actually did. Running, walking, climbing mountains with him. Like in the movies or other seemingly perfect scenarios that I have pictured for our family. But life is never like a fairy tale. The truth is that this world is full of broken bodies because of sickness and disease, broken hearts from pain and hurt and selfishness and sin. Constant happiness is never certain. Only God's presence in our life is sure. That's why Jesus came to save us from these, to give us hope, life and truth far beyond better than this world in our pain. On June 11, 2017, Emmanuel Seth Garcia was born and he immediately underwent an operation to close his spine and go through surgery on his cyst. Seth spent a month in an EQ. We did what we have to do to manage his condition after that. Our lives revolved in constant checkups to numerous doctors. We catheterized him every six hours, therapy for his legs, monitoring his mild hydrocephalus, multiple x-rays, and he wore a harness on his second month and a brace after that. In the beginning, I was always afraid something is wrong with him when he cries. I get torn whenever doctors would say that his hip and head is not getting any better. I cried most of the time to God asking for help. I know He hears me and He is sustaining us. One day at a time, doing what we can do and trusting Him for tomorrow. Truth is you know what tomorrow brings My dreams for Seth may have been shattered but I know God's dreams for him remains Seth is beautiful for us no matter what A gift from the Lord I don't know how things would work out but somehow I see the hand of God with what continues to happen, not just in Seth's healing, but more so in our hearts and our faith because of all these. We learn to trust God even when it's difficult. We saw how much grace He gives us every day to be able to go through this journey. I now know and accept that the miracle of healing is not the only reason God may be glorified in sickness. The grace to be able to take care of a special needs child is a miracle in itself. God is with us, helping us, transforming us in the process and showing himself even in the little things. Creating in me compassion for hurting people to inspire them that a life with joy in the midst of adversity is possible. Our life now is not like most people's lives, but I know it has purpose. God gave us Seth, but Seth was his before he was ever ours. I may never understand the Lord for allowing this, but I know God is good with whatever He allows to happen in my life, in my family, and in the life of my son. In the Bible, God did not promise us a trouble or trial-free life. What He promised is that with Him in our lives, we can overcome any trial we face. Today, Seth's head is seemingly in the safe size so we would probably not need any operation for that. His hips are finally in the right position after almost a year in braces, and his club foot is somehow corrected. We are able to take care of him by caving, and we will soon resume with his physical therapy. I know we still have a long road to walk through, but don't we all do? We are excited to find out what else Seth may do in the future, and to let him know that we're always proud of him. Please continue to pray for Seth and her family. To God be the glory.